The real cause of wildlife crime is corruption, corruption and corruption. It's greed. It is more serious than anyone can express standing here. People really don't understand why there is such big fuss about killing animals. It's not a big deal. It's not a very big deal. This is a non-African problem. This affects you. When you see a mother grieving the loss of her child, it's pretty easy to say, well, the way they feel grief must be similar to ours. What you have to remember about East Africa is that it's the Wild West. Move West young men and there's gold down there. I'd like to think that as proud African, our life is more important than money. When you've got $650,000 in that horn right there, and you can buy a bunch of these, how much terror do you think this whole game drives? When you got child soldiers, they're just brainwashed to shoot anybody that gets in their path. And the pictures I've seen, it's like, I mean, the, the elephants are, trust me, that's bad, but when you see what they do to children, it's like that. It's just horrific how things can change so fast. That's why I think you still have to look for those gems of hope, and that's one of the reasons why Right now, I'm trying to focus more on the survivors of these poachings. If you can work with them to see the wildlife in the wilderness as an asset, there is still time.